Hey, John C. Denise Richards and my loyal assistant, Lulu. Lulu, good to see you today. Lulu, Lulu's wearing a beautiful dress today. I love it. Last week's video, if you saw that, you saw that Lulu was wearing a Christmas tree because last week it was National Christmas Tree Day. That was fun. It was a lot of fun. She looked adorable. You'll have to look. You'll have to look. You have to watch that video. And today we have a nice bright red uh, background and your blouse is red because we are approaching Christmas quickly. Yes, we're getting into the mode. Last week we had the Christmas tree. This week it's the red. We're getting there. Yeah, and here we are December 15th. And you know what? Today is national, one of the things, national cupcake day. Has nothing to do with Christmas at all, I don't think. Unless don't it's to... decorated like Christmas. Do you decorate your cupcakes like Christmas? You could. You sure could. Especially today. But what else is it today, John? I don't remember. Today is national cat Herders Day. Oh man, Cat Herders Day. Cat Herders Day. So That's all those people one. that you've asked, what are you doing? And they say herding cats. Now they have their day. This is their day. The one day out of the year, 365 days, they get to actually herd cats today. For, for the cat herders. I just it's love it. It's for you guys. Love it, And love you get it. to get out there and herd it. I wonder if there really is an occupation for cat herding. <laughs> I don't know. So random. I don't know. What, what did we talk about last week, John? Well, that's a great question. Last week we talked about the 10 markets in the United States, specifically the 10 states that had a good run-up in prices, but now they're seeing a lot of price reductions on their listings, which, by the way, I don't think I mentioned it last time. Price reductions don't necessarily mean that you are below the previous price um, in regards to that, in regards to prices coming down, but your list price has been reduced. So we talked about the top 10 states and thankfully florida is not on that list and if you want to hear what those top 10 states are that have been heavily reducing their listings in price arizona arizona they are on that list thankfully florida is not but a lot of the states are out west and they have been seeing big price reductions yeah. on their homes watch that video if you want you can keep up to date with that as well and i thought that was a very interesting topic yeah. that we did last week we actually touched a little bit on that um temporary rate buy down the seller paid Ooh. yeah so they should watch that to they learn should more watch about that. for that and and i and i think what we should do is maybe explain what those points are and what Great that idea. means right so, so what are points you know, I remember years ago hearing people about paying points for interest rates. Well, mm. basically, it's the cost of your interest rate. So in a normal market, you'll have interest rates that cost nothing, okay. interest rates that cost you points, and okay. then interest rates that are that are higher that pay you a credit at closing. Interesting. Okay. So which are we in right now? Right now, we're in a market where all the rates are costing points. Okay. Yeah, it's a very difficult market right now because the compression is just, it's, it's so tight. Mm. There's no money inside. There's p points being charged on the outside. These lenders know there's going to be a huge refinance boom as rates start to come down that you'll see over the next 18 months. Okay. And so they want their money up front. They're not going to get to hold that paper for very long. I see. So a point is going to be, for example, on the 2-1 temporary rate buy down, Mm -hmm. It's the biggest bang for your buck, right? Okay. So the seller would pay approximately two, 2.4% 2 okay. of the buyer's loan size, mm. right? Instead of giving a huge reduction in purchase price. Ooh. And then the buyer gets 2% below market value for their interest rate the first year. Interesting. And 1% the second year. So let's just put that in practical terms. If let's say for instance their interest rate was going to be six and a half percent and they got a two percent buy down, now their interest payments are only going to be four and a half percent. That is correct. Because the seller is going to buy down or basically pay for some of those points. Mm -hmm. Is that, am I saying that right? You are, and, and only the seller can pay for those points. Nobody else can. Oh. It's like renting a lower rate for a couple of years. Okay. Um, it is also a tax deduction to the seller. Ooh, that's nice. It, it just, everybody wins with that. Now, a traditional point that's not for a temporary rate buy down, that would be permanent for the life of the loan, works a little bit differently. Anybody can pay those points, the buyer, the seller, the lender. Um, but in essence, it's not the big bang for your buck. So where you might be paying one full percentage point of your loan size, so for a $200,000 loan, that would cost you $2,000 to buy your rate down maybe only a quarter point. Mm. And so a buyer can buy those points down or they basically can. pay a little bit more up front on their mortgage when they're starting the loan process, right, before closing? They can. I don't recommend that in this market right now. Okay. 
because they would be able to refinance later or yes. the cost just isn't worth it. It's they don't not worth it, it right now. The, the compression is horrible. The cost mm. of it is very, very expensive. And the fact remains that neo home loans will be refinancing at no cost over the next 18 months. Yeah. So if home price or interest rates continue to drop below where we are now at around six and a half percent, neo home loans will refinance that basically in a sense. For free. So why purchase those points now? If they're already going to take care of it later, unless it's the exactly. seller purchasing the points and can right. get you down 2%, that's a huge 2%, chunk. that makes a big difference over the next two years. Good. Yeah. Because when we start talking about points, I thought about points like on my license. You know, you get points on your license when you get pulled over. I mean, i not speaking from experience, but you get a certain number of points and then your home, your car insurance goes up. Yeah, those are bad points. Those are bad Golf, points. you don't want a lot of points, no. right? I mean, there's some. And with mortgages and the right market, sometimes points are a fantastic thing. Yeah. The temporary points right now is a fantastic thing. So you need to be speaking with somebody that understands the market and what works in one market doesn't work in another. I wish I could buy points down on my golf game. <laughs> I wonder what that would Maybe cost. if you're the one taking score, John. I'll buy it down. Not a problem. <laughs> Hey, I really appreciate that topic because that can be a little confusing when you get into the finances. But if you have more questions on points or you need more clarification, or if you're purchasing a home and you want the seller to help you buy down points, talk to Denise. She can help you out with that. She can guide you and the seller Mm -hmm. on that as well, too. And that would be great. Uh, She's knowledgeable on that. What's going on in the market news, John? Market news, great question. Oh, I pulled up this thing and I want to show it to everybody. I'm also going to put a link below in the description so that you can see this uh, probably a little bit better than what I'm going to show you right now on your computer. But I want to show everybody the market and how it's going in regards to home prices and what that looks like, if I can find it here. You know, John, I think that's a good idea to show them that, especially after just talking about how some prices in some markets are going down. Mm. This is very interesting to see what's happening actually here in Southwest Florida. Yeah. So I've got it here, and I'm just going to give you a quick visual on here, if you guys can see this. Because we're so high tech. We are so high tech. We don't have our (laughs) normal help of Kaylin here helping us with the screen and everything. Okay, so you can see from this graph here, this is the Naples and Collier County, uh, Lee County uh, stats, the two different lines there. And this is the median home prices. So this is what our home price is actually doing. They took a little bit of dip in Fort Myers area, um, but you can see that they haven't dropped major. But in Lee County, in the Naples market specific, even more so, you can see how the actual median home price went up in the month from October to November. So I thought that was pretty interesting. We're basically back where we were right before the hurricane came through a few months ago. I think this still boils down to a housing shortage, ultimately. It really does. Inventory drives, or supply and demand drives prices so much. And even around here right now, I don't have it on this stat, but on this sheet, but inventory around here has stayed pretty consistent. It hasn't shot up crazy drastic. It's gone up a little bit, but nothing major. And so the demand is still here for yeah. homes. And so yeah. prices have stayed pretty consistent. And now even in the Naples market, it's starting to go back up a little bit, which is interesting, different than our video topic that we did last week on price reductions. So if you're looking for a great home to buy, call, text, or email myself, or if you need help with the financing side, get in touch with Denise. But before we go today, let's connect them with one awesome guy who has an awesome name. John John. Sklarzik. Yes. And John's fantastic. John, we've known him for years. I've known John now probably for seven years. John's in our networking group, and John actually has his electrical license. John helps and works for a solar company who also does electrical work as well. That's right. Uh, The name of that company is Hale Power. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tom Hale is the owner of that. Great people. If you are in the Southwest Florida area and you need solar panels on your roof to take care of and harness the electricity of the sun, reach out to John. Or if you just need a fan put up. John does fans, yeah. light bulbs, all that stuff. Yeah, you might just be done with FPNL, and quite frankly, I think a lot of people are. God love them for getting our power back on after the storm. Right. But maybe you're ready to switch to power, and John Sklarzik is your guy. He'll take good care if you need his information. It'll be posted below. And, uh, yeah, it's been a great day. We look forward to seeing you guys on our next week video. If you're sticking around right now, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. We would greatly appreciate Very that. Much. And if you have any comments or questions, post those below as well. Have a great week. Bye.